Now that we've discussed how to take second order partial derivatives, um, I want to go through an example on second order partial derivatives and the Laplace equation. So the Laplace equation is known to be f sub xx plus f sub yy equals zero. So in other words, the second derivative with respect to x plus the second derivative with respect to y equals zero. And we are asked to show that the function f of xy equals the natural log of the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared satisfies the Laplace equation. So our goal is to take the second derivative with respect to x and take the second derivative with respect to y and show that when we add them together we get zero. In order to do the derivative of this function, it will be a lot easier if I first use some log rules. So I'm going to rewrite my function as f of xy equals natural log of x squared plus y squared to the one half. So we know that square root can be written um, as a one half power instead. And then we have a log property that says that if you have whatever's plugged into your log raised to a power, you can bring that power down in front. So this becomes one half natural log of x squared plus y squared. Now this is a lot easier to take the derivative of because I'll only need to use the chain rule one time as opposed to twice. So to take the partial derivative with respect to x, I have f sub x, and I need to use the chain rule. So I will have um, one half, because that's my constant multiple, and then I'm going to have the derivative of natural log is one over whatever is plugged into natural log. So I'll have times one over x squared plus y squared. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Now this is with respect to x, so the derivative of x squared plus y squared is 2x. And then I simplify my 2 and 1 half are going to cancel each other out, and so I get x divided by x squared plus y squared. Now, um, to take the second derivative with respect to x, I'm going to do f sub xx, and I have to use the quotient rule because I'm doing the partial derivative with respect to x of the quantity x over x squared plus y squared. So quotient rule, derivative of the top function is 1, multiply by the bottom function x squared plus y squared, minus the top function x times the derivative of the denominator, which is going to be 2x, because we're doing the derivative with respect to x, divided by the denominator squared, so over x squared plus y squared quantity squared. If I simplify this and combine like terms, I get y squared minus x squared over x squared plus y squared quantity squared. So hopefully when we do the derivative with respect to y, we'll get the opposite signs in the numerator. So I have the first derivative with respect to y. I have to use the chain rule. So I have the one-half constant multiple times the derivative of natural log is 1 over x squared plus y squared times 2y this time because I'm doing the derivative of the x squared plus y squared with respect to y. Cancel out my 2 and 1 half and I get y over x squared plus y squared. So now f sub y y is the partial derivative with respect to y of y over x squared plus y squared and I have to use the quotient rule. So remember this is with respect to y. So I have the derivative of the top is 1 times the bottom function x squared plus y squared minus the top function y times the derivative of the bottom function, which is 2y, all over 
the denominator squared, x squared plus y squared quantity squared. Simplify it, combine like terms, and I get x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared quantity squared. So now I add them together, f sub xx plus f sub yy, second derivatives, equals y squared minus x squared over the quantity x squared plus y squared squared, plus x squared minus y squared over the quantity x squared plus y squared quantity squared. And if you look at the numerator, they have the same denominator, so I just add the numerators together. I have a positive y squared and a negative y squared, and a negative x squared and a positive x squared, so they cancel each other out. So I get 0 over the denominator, which is just 0. So what we've shown is that the equation natural log of square root of x squared plus y squared satisfies the Laplace equation, which is known to be second derivative with respect to x plus second derivative with respect to y equals 0.